Hello and welcome everyone. In today's episode of Inventory for You and Me, we will be looking at yet another inventory valuation method called the Weighted Average Method and see how it compares with FIFO and LIFO, discussed in our last video. The Weighted Average Method, or WAM, is an inventory valuation logic in which you will no longer rely on the fluctuation of individual prices of an item. Instead, you will take the total count of your inventory along with all their purchase prices and arrive at what is known as a weighted average price. This is done by adding all the purchase costs and dividing them by the total quantity of a chosen item. This price will be used to determine the value of your current inventory. While this method can be used for most businesses, it is predominantly favored by manufacturing businesses. To understand how this works, we are going to apply this logic to the footwear store example case from the last video. In January, you bought 50 pairs of sneakers at the rate of $50 a pair. In February, you bought another 50 pairs, but at $51 a pair, owing to a rise in transportation costs. Then, the raw materials got cheaper in March, and you were able to buy 100 pairs of the same sneakers at $45 a pair. During the first quarter, you sold around 120 pairs of sneakers at the standard rate of $90 a pair. Unlike FIFO or LIFO, before you apply the weighted average method to derive your inventory asset value, you will need to calculate an average purchase price first. Now, if you go only by the prices, you will derive what is called a regular average price, and the regular average price of the sneakers is equal to the total sum of $50 plus $51 plus $45, divided by 3. Or in other words, $146 divided by 3, which is equal to $48.60. However, this regular average price is not an accurate indicator of your item distribution. So, we should discard this and instead calculate what is known as the weighted average price. The weighted average price of all 200 pairs of sneakers you have on hand before the sale is equal to the value of the January lot plus the value of your February lot, plus the value of your March lot, divided by 200. This makes it 50 times $50, plus 50 times $51, plus 100 times $45, divided by 200. Or in other words, the total sum of $2,500 plus $2,550 plus $4,500, divided by 200, which is $9,550, divided by 200 which equals $47.75. Upon selling 120 pairs during the first quarter, the asset value of your items sold is $47.75, times 120 which equals $5,730. The value of your remaining inventory of 80 pairs times $47.75 is $3,820. When you add the asset values of the pairs you sold, and the pairs you hold, which is $5,730 plus $3,820, you will get an accurate total inventory asset value of $9,550. That concludes our discussion on the weighted average method. We hope this was useful to you, and we look forward to seeing you again for another video. Cheers!